kids! Good morning! I am Teacher Nafi. Today, I am glad to teach you how to access Google Meet to join a class or a meeting with your teacher and your classmates. For you to enter the classroom, you need to log in first using the email address given by the school. To log in, you need to look at the upper right corner of your screen. In here, you can see a human figure. Let's click this one. Then click Turn on Sync. Then this will show up to your screen. Now, enter the email address. After entering the email address, you need to click Next. In Tagalog, susunod. Then, enter your password. Please don't share your password to anyone. Okay? After entering the password, you need to click Next. Then, this will show up to your screen. You need to click Link Data. Then, click Yes, I'm in. Can you see Yes, I'm in? Okay, good job! If you already have an existing account, to the upper right corner of your screen, click your profile picture if you have beside the Google Apps icon or the cube with nine dots. So let's click this one. Then click Add Another Account. Now, Enter the email address given by the school. After entering the email address, click Next. Then, enter the correct password. Please do not share your password to anyone. After entering the password, you need to click Next. Okay? Very good, kids! If you already logged in, you go to the upper right corner of your screen, you click the Google Apps icon or the cube with nine dots. Then you scroll down, then look for Meet. This one. Now, enter the meeting code or the link given by your teacher. Hi kids! Good morning! I am Teacher Nafi. Today, I am glad to teach you how to access Google Meet to join a class or a meeting with your teacher and your classmates. First step that you should do is you need to look for the link the teacher sent you in your messenger. You can also see the link posted in your Google Classroom. Okay, so let's go to the messenger. Now, let's click the link. So this is the link. Let's click it. Okay, let's wait for it. If it's your first time to do this, this will pop up in your screen. You can see here Allow button and the Block button. Make sure to click Allow so that Google Meet can access your sound and your video. If you will click Block, your teacher will not see you and will not hear you. So make sure to click Allow. Okay? Let's click Allow now. Okay, let's click Allow. Now, you can see yourself in your monitor. Below your monitor, you can see here the microphone and the camera. Make sure to turn off the microphone. How to turn off the microphone? You just need to click it to turn off. Okay? So, let's click the microphone. If it's red, it means it's muted or turned off. Understood? Very good! You may also turn on and off your camera like the microphone. How to turn off the camera? 
You just need to click it. If it's red, it means... Okay, very good. It means it's turned off. So let's click it again to turn on. Okay, it's already turned on. Before you click join now, make sure you look good. You look wonderful. You look pretty. You look handsome. And if you're ready, are you ready? Yes, you are ready. Now let's click join now. We're already in the classroom. To the upper right corner of your screen, you can see this one. It says here, show everyone. So let's click this. In here, you can see your teacher and your classmates. Okay. Beside people, you can see here, chat. If you have question while your teacher is discussing, rather than yelling at the screen and disturbing everybody, you just need to click chat. Okay, so let's click chat. You can type here your questions or any message that you want to say to your teacher. So for example, I did not understand. Okay, so let's send it. You just need to click this one to send the message. This message can be seen by your teacher and your classmates. Okay, good. Now let's send it. Now let's click the X button here to exit. Below your screen, you can see the microphone. Again, for you not to disturb the class, you need to turn off your microphone. What's the color of the microphone if it's turned off? What is it? Okay, very good. It's color red. And if you want to say something, if you have questions to teacher, you just need to click this one to turn on. Okay? Very good. Beside the microphone, you can see here the red telephone. How to use the red telephone? You click this if the meeting is already done. Opo? But this time, don't click it because we are not yet done. Okay? Very good. Beside the red telephone, you can see here the camera. You just need to click it to turn off. If it's red, it means... What is it? Very good. It means it's turned off. Let's click it to turn on. Okay. Did you understand? Very good. Beside the camera, you can see here turn on options and present now. And let's skip this part. Okay. Now, let's click the three dots here beside present now. Then, let's click change layout. Can you see change layout? Yes. So, let's click change layout. This will pop up in your screen. You can see here the sidebar, tile bar, and the spotlight. At this time, we are using sidebar. Now, let's try to click tiled. So, let's click tiled. Tiled looks like this. You can see here your classmates and your teacher. Okay? Let's go back to change layout. Let's try spotlight. Let's click spotlight. Okay, it looks like this. So, you just need to go here to show everyone. And then click the one who is talking. So teacher is talking right now. So we need to pin and then you click X button. So only teacher can be seen in your screen. Understood? Very good. Good job. Now, I will teach you how to add extension. So first step that you should do is you need to click the plus sign here. Can you see the plus sign here? Okay, let's click this one and then you click not extension and then you need to click enter. Okay, it's loading so we need to wait. Now let's click this one not reactions for Google Meet. Now, 
in your screen you can see here add to chrome so you need to click this it's color blue so you need to click it and then this will show up in your screen so let's click add extension it's downloading so we need to wait It's already downloaded, so we need to click this one. It looks like the missing part of the puzzle. So let's click it, and then you look for Nod Reactions for Google Meet, and then you need to click this one. We need to pin it so that every time you will open your Google Meet, it will show up here to the upper right corner of your screen. Very good! You did a great job! Now, let's add another extension. Are you excited? Again, you need to look for the plus sign here. You need to click it. And then, let's click push to pop. And then, click enter. And then this will show up in your screen. You can see here Google Meet push to talk. So we need to click this one. Then this will show up in your screen. Add to Chrome. Can you see add to Chrome? Yes, it's color blue. Let's click it. And then this will show up in your screen. You can see here add extension. Click Add Extension. We already added Push to Talk. What's the use of Push to Talk or the monkey? What's the use of the monkey? It is the shortcut of muting and unmuting yourself. Understood? Okay, so it's already here in our screen. Now, let's click the missing part of the puzzle. Look for Google Meet Push to Talk. So, we need to click this one pin extension so we need to pin it okay so every time you will open your google meet it will show up here to the upper right corner of your screen very good <music>
Very good, kids. Thank you so much for listening. Now, it's time to leave the meeting. Before you leave the meeting, you need to say bye to teacher first, bye to your classmates before clicking the red telephone. Bye, everyone. Bye, teacher. Thank you so much. Bye, classmates. Okay, now it's time to click the red telephone to end the meeting. Okay. Very good, kids. Bye. Thank you. Thank you so much for listening. Hello. If you are using your phone, tablet, or iPod, you need to install Google Meet from the Play Store. Okay, so let's look for the Play Store here. So, this is the Play Store. Let's click this one. And then, let's look for Google Meet. Google Meet. Okay. Google Meet. And then, you need to click search. Okay. Then, you click install. You see install? Yes. So, let's click that. You just need to wait for the Google Meet to download, okay? So, it's downloading. So, you need to wait. Just wait. It says here installing, so you need to wait. Okay, it's already installed. Very good. Now you need to click open. Okay, and then click continue. You need to click allow. You click allow again. Congratulations! You already installed the Google Meet. Good job! First step that you should do is you need to look for the Google Chrome icon in your phone, okay? So, it looks like this. Let's click it. To the upper right corner of your screen, you need to look for the human figure. But, if you already have an existing account in your cell phone or tablet, click your profile picture. So, we already have an existing account, so we need to click this one. And then, you need to click Manage Accounts on this device. Let's click this one. And then, you need to click Add Account. Now, this will show up in your screen. Enter the email address given by the school. Okay? Okay? After entering the email address given by the school, you need to click Next. Then, enter your password. After entering your password, click Next. Then, click I agree. If you already installed Google Meet, and log in using the email address given by your school, you may now access Google Meet. Okay? So, you need to look for Google Meet here. So, this one. This is the Google Meet. Click that one. Then, enter the meeting code to enter the class. Then, click Join Meeting. Thank you so much for listening. I hope and I pray that God will help you learn and enjoy this school year. God bless!